Hello, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Nice, nice. Hello, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. <laughs> Just with the hands, hello. Hello. Welcome. Creo que hoy no mandaron mensaje, ¿verdad? No me fijé. No, what? Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Just keep everybody a second, please. Good evening, teacher. Good Sorry, evening. I was uh, brushing my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Welcome, Mister. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Sandra. How are you? Hi, teacher. And you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I hope you're good. Hello, Miss. Ah, no. I me acuerdo que había alguien unirse, pero ya no está. Everybody join. Ay, voy a encuesta. Hello, Miss Rebecca. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Ah, uh, some. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> also, oh, I am sorry. But tomorrow means the last day. So we are going to have like three days off. Well, you will have, I think you will have more, I guess. Hello, Miss Michelle. Hello, teacher. How are you, Miss? Fine, and you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Hello, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss. How are you, Miss? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Hello, Vera. How are you? Please rejoin right now. Pensé que les había mandado mensaje, pero acabo de ver que no. Oh, my goodness. We have... Jimmy, Jimmy, one second. <clears throat> I just want to send a text to the classmates. Okay, so I don't know if you have received an email uh, today or yesterday. No sé si recibieron un correo el día de ayer o ahora este, de parte de Inglés Corporativo. Because today you have the, the encuesta. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you, and means for letting me know. Okay, sí, porque este, el día de ahora tenemos el, la, el, el día de la encuesta, aunque mañana nosotros terminamos, porque recuerden, pues, nosotros teníamos que hacer es doble, doble reposición, ¿verdad? El día de ahora es el noviembre, noviembre 2, y mañana sería octubre 28. And so, uh, today we have to, today we, we are going to do it in a few minutes, la vamos a hacer en unos minutos, igual yo le voy a presentar un video y le voy a explicar un poco acerca de eso, pero sí, aunque esté un oyente, necesito que se unan, ¿verdad? Y estén por acá, ok, so, um, yeah, because... Porque algunos pues no se han unido, pero well, anyways. Well. Hello, Mr. Francisco. Hello, Mr. Eh, Juan José. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome. Okay, so. Thank you. Nice. Ok, 
Okay, so we are about to start. Okay, so into a start. So today, one more time, it is English for Board Program. This is basic module number four, right? My name, one more time, is Lisa Cross Mayor Barajo Martinez. And today it is Monday, November 14, 2022. Today we are going to continue with unit number four, right? Tomorrow we finish, but today we have a little bit of the explanation that you were, we, you, we're asking last week and this weekend, okay, el día de ahora vamos a tener un poquito de explicación del el zero conditional que ustedes tenían así como que la eran incógnita, what is zero conditional means? And you were like, oh my goodness, what is that? So today we're going to learn a little bit about that, okay? And then you're going to say some phrases, okay, as well. Y van a decir pues algunas oraciones por ahí. Y vamos a hacer mucha práctica. But before that, pero antes que eso, vamos a practicar un poco about the topic from Friday. And what was the topic from Friday? Who remembers? Tell me, tell me. Who remembers the topic from Friday? It was super easy, super good topic. Ah, if so. Ah, I'm sorry. What was the topic? <laughs> Do you remember? No, it was no and so, so and such. You say, Miss. Jerum. Jerums, exactly. Where Jerums, like drinky, no, so and such, no. Uh, on Friday, we study so and, I mean, Jerums, like drinking, sleeping, right, that we use with some verbs. And today and right now, we are going to do a little bit of practice for some of those Jerums, okay? So let's get started. These activities called true or there, okay? What do you have to do? You're going to choose a number and you will have to answer a question and sometimes do an activity, okay? So van a elegir un número y cuando eligen el número les va a salir o que hagan una actividad o que respondan a algo que va a aparecer ahí. So let's say, uh, let's start with Mr. Mauricio. Tell me one number, please, Mr. That you want to practice, please. Give me, repeat again. One number that you want to practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what number? Un número. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven, okay. Okay, so mister, I have a question for you. What do you hope to do tonight? For example, I hope to do the encuesta, and you? <laughs> I hope I hope to do, make a, a test. Ah, make a test, oh, uh, the, the final test, mister? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, no. Okay, good, mister, thank you. You have to okay. do the test then. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for practicing. Let's go with Miss Sandra. What number, Miss? One, two. One, okay. Okay, Miss. What do you always avoid doing until the last minute? ¿Qué evitas hacer hasta el último momento? And you have to use, I always avoid doing or cleaning, maybe. For example, for me, it's, it's like, doing the, the food because I don't like to cook. <laughs> but for you, Miss, what do you avoid doing? I mm -hmm. always avoid. Uh -huh. Always avoid. And what? Avoid, um, homework. Doing homework. Doing homework. What? No, Miss, that's not possible for you. You have to do the homework, but very good job, Miss. Thank you for sharing your idea. Let's go with Miss Abigail. Wait, Miss Abigail. Hello, welcome. Hello. Okay, Miss Abigail, what number would you like to try? Okay, Miss, no problem. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Okay, Miss Abigail Bonilla, help me here. Six. Can you hear me? Yes, six. Okay. So, Miss, what is something you plan to do soon, Miss? I. Uh -huh. I. Uh -huh. Plan to buy 
ajado. Wow, Miss, nice. That's a good one. I hope you do it, okay? Thank you, Miss, for sharing. Let's go, Miss Rebecca. One number, please. Ten. Ten. Okay, Miss. Only questions. Oh, my goodness. Is there anything specific that you would like to learn? Like, for example, I would like to learn to, to speak in French. And you? Something specific that you would like to learn? Mm, I would like to uh -huh. learn... Uh -huh. Cook. Cooking? To cook. To cook, but uh, como repostería. No sé cómo oh, pastry. Pastry. Yeah. So it would be, I would like to, I would like to cook. cook pastry. Pastry or bakery. It would be <laughs> one of the three. Two, sorry. One of the two. Pastry or bakery. Nice, Miss. Thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go. Next one. Miss Michelle, tell me one number, please. Number 20. 20. Okay, Miss. So you have a good one. You have a dare. Un reto. Name 10 vegetables in 30 seconds, okay? So let's okay. go. One, two, three, go. Tomato, carrot, uh -huh. um, lechuga, lettuce, onion, onion. <laughs> uh -huh. um, potatoes. Uh -huh. mm, no, you say tomato. Oh, okay, potato. Thanks, carrot. Uh -huh. And lettuce. Ya dijo lettuce también. Eso sí la. Cucumber. Ajá, cucumber. And, and, I don't like ve vegetables. <laughs> oh my goodness, you don't like vegetables. No, miss, they are delicious. <laughs> what about, how do you say eh, ajo? Uy, pero es eh? <laughs> no, no, eh, garlic. Garlic, ajá. Garlic. How do you say, eh, for example, um, limón? Lemon. Uh, how do you say in the last one? We are missing only one. How do you say? Oh my goodness! I'm thinking I don't remember any paste. Onion. Ah, on, no. He she already mentioned no. that one. Uh huh. Ah, no. Okay. How do you say um plátano? Banana. <laughs> no <laughs> plantain. No. Uh -huh, plantain or banana. Cualquiera de los dos. Okay. So <laughs> it it depends. Yeah. But very good, Miss Michelle. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Mr. Francisco. Tell me one number, mister. Uh, number one? Number one. Uh, number one is already, mister. You can... Ah, it's already. All right. right. Two, three, four, five, uh, nine, 11, 12. Four. Four, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> can you demonstrate your pants dance? <laughs> can you do it? <laughs> You have to do a dance, mister. Are you going to do it or no? <laughs> no, no, no. Man, you can do like something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I like did. Yeah, okay. You do it like... Okay. like that. Okay, like that's this. okay. No, no it's more. okay. All right. <laughs> Try cleaning the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Right. for sharing. <laughs> very good. Let's go next one. It would be uh, 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 Miss Lady. What number, Miss? Uh, uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay, Miss. What do you want to do this coming break? Oh, oh, uh huh. Um, what do you want to do? For example, I want to, to travel in December. Okay, and you, what do you want to do? ¿Qué tú quieres hacer? What do you want to? Okay, ¿qué tú quieres hacer? Este, este receso que vamos a tener próximo en December. Uh, um. I 
visit the I want to I want to visit visit uh -huh. the country Guatemala. Ah. Oh, Guatemala. You want to visit Guatemala? Nice, Miss. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Nice, nice. Okay, let's go with Mr. Jorge. Hello, Mr. Welcome. Tell me, Mr. What number here? Um, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, what is something you forgot to do this week? Something that you, oh my goodness, I forgot to clean the house. I forgot. <laughs> uh huh. So, something. Um, I don't remember. Oh, you forgot. For example, um, uh -huh. and the last uh -huh. this week. Uh huh. Um, Something you forgot to do, like for example, your homework. Um, for example, for example, yeah. today uh -huh. I I forget that 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 right now we we will make the the class. The, no 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 the encuesta. Yeah. The survey. Oh my goodness! Yes, I saw that. That's why I sent you a message because I I I thought about it. And I thought like you didn't um, like remember, I'm sorry, okay, that you didn't have that one. Even though you're oyente, you have to do it, please, okay? Aunque estén oyente, yo sé que tal vez no pueden hablar, or maybe you are in the bus, as me said, pero we have to do it today, la tenemos que hacer ahora. So thank you for being here, okay? Let's go, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay, tell me one number, Mr. Uh, number 22. 22. Ah, okay. What will you never stop doing? Something that you never... What will you never stop doing? Uh -huh, like, oh my goodness, I will never stop. Hmm? Uh, For example, I will never stop learning something new. For me, right? For you? Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I will never stop eating pupusas, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I ate some pupusas for the national day of pupusas. So yeah. nice. <laughs> so you, what do you never stop doing? Uh, I will never stop playing my guitar. Mm, excellent, mister. Nice. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Very good. Let's go next one, Mr. Juan Jose. What number would you like to try, mister? 12. Well, what is something that you can't stand doing? Like, algo que no soportas hacer, doing. Eat pupusas with <gasps> loroco. Ah, okay. So that's a good. <laughs> so you have to say, I can't. I can't. Stand. I can't stand. Eating. Eating pupusas with loroco. Excellent, Mister. Yeah, I know. It's disgusting. I don't like them. They are so. I know they're smelling. Ooh, I don't. I cannot stand that one either. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Welcome. I can see we have some more people right now. Hello, Miss Kenya. Hello, Miss Dilcia. Hello, Dan. Ah, no, Dania. Yeah, Dania. Hello. Uh, Andrea. Okay, so right now we are going to do a tenant section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Just give me one second because, okay. So, okay, so let's start. Abigail Mejia. Oh no. Miss Abigail Mejia se desconectó. Okay. Andrea Amalia. You say a message? No. Okay, so Daniel Lisbeth. Yes, yeah, teacher. Thank you. Dilcia Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Miss Esmeralda, está por ahí. Ah, okay. 
Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Thank you, Miss Kenya. Eh, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Miguel. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Thank you. Thank you everybody for doing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, okay, so as I told you before, we are going to have the encuesta time in just a few seconds, but before we do that, but antes que hagamos la encuesta, we are going to do one more activity, okay? Because it's at 8.30, so we are going to do something more. Oh no, oh no, what happened? Wait a second, okay. So we are going to do one more activity. So this activity is called Say What You See, okay? So basically it's a little bit of a game and practice some vocabulary, okay? Maybe you remember or you don't know this vocabulary you are going to learn there. Okay, so these, let's start. So say what you see in this one, for example. Okay, so this one is an egg plan for example it's a vegetable let's go with the next one what do you see or what do you think it is the word what creen que es la palabra that is hide over there que está escondida por ahí mm -hmm. what do you think so we have the first one it's a verb right yeah. i'm sorry <laughs> Broke. Broke, uh huh. In the end, the other one could be. Car. Plus car. Plus car. Well, let me tell you that the word, uh, it's. Breakfast. Yes. Breakfast. Because we have break and fast. Yeah. <laughs> so it's breakfast. Okay, let's go next one. What do you think in this one? Star. Uh -huh. Starfish. Okay, let's see. Yes, it's a starfish. What about this one? Keyboard. Keyboard. Okay, let's see. Yay, very good. It's keyboard. Keyboard. This one? What do you think could be? <laughs> Uh-huh. What do you think the hands means? ¿Qué creen que significa esa manito? ¿Tú? ¿Tú? Ajá. ¿Tú? ¿En then? Son. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Two son. No. It's today. <laughs> Today, okay. Today. Yes, very good. Okay, this one. What do you think? Homework. Huh? House? Or homework. Homework. Ah, yes, it's homework. Very good. Let's see another oh, one. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what Basket, will be? Basketball. 
Let's see. Yay! Nice. Very good, Mister. Okay, let's go next one. Okay, this one. ¿Qué creen? So, ¿Cómo se dice lluvia? Do you remember how to say lluvia? Rain. Rain. Uh, rain. Uh -huh. okay. And then? Give. Okay, yeah. rain give. Okay, let's see. No. <laughs> Rainbow. Yes. Rainbow. Rainbow. Okay, let's okay. see. Next one. Wait. This one. Yeah. ¿Cómo se dice hola? Do you know how to say hola? Wave. Ajá, wave, and then. Father. <laughs> Father. Season. It was season. It was not rain, Father. It was season. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see next one. This one. Snows. Uh -huh. Snow. Snow. Chinese. Uh -huh. No. A snowman? Yay! It's a snowman. This one. Let's see. Wait. Uh huh. View. Okay, no. See saw. So. Okay. See so okay. Let's go. I think we have one more. Let's see this one. Desert. Okay. No. <laughs> it's well, what will be the word? Yeah. It's hot dog. This one. Uh -huh. okay. I think this one it was a little bit hard. It's I Iceland. Uh huh. Island. Island. Okay. So yeah, that one's a little because I and land it's a Teresa. So this one. Cheese man. It's cheese man. No. Es que muy difícil el detalle de la Ah, butterfly. Butterfly. No. Butterfly. Yeah. Butter y fly. No, you have to. Okay, this one. B4. Let's see. Yes, B4. This one. Monday. Okay. Yeah, Mon. Mm, diamond, no, it's rich. <laughs> 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 no, <hey. laughs> okay let's go with the encuesta it's time okay 
Uh, now, in this one, I'm gonna send you, okay, um, uh, the, the, the information on WhatsApp, okay, as well as in here. Just give me one second. I already have it, ya la tengo por acá. Just give me one second. So, just a reminder, okay, solo un recordatorio. Al final, Eh, de la encuesta, por favor, por favor, envíen su, ay, no le puse ahí, favor, enviar en captura de pantalla de finalización con su nombre completo, ok? It's very important, es muy importante para mí, ok? And uh, so, let's get it started, but first of all, please pay attention to the following video, por favor, presten atención al siguiente video, because it's very important, ok? Y después le empezamos todos juntos, ok? El, la encuesta. So, here's the video, and listen and pay attention, please. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico. Y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente, colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6, vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Real International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso. Y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que En el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si hay las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, 
vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a ser enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok. Ese era el video explicativo acerca de la encuesta. Solo lo pueden realizar una vez, así que tengamos cuidado por el favor ahí. Y este, vaya, ahora sí, ahí como pueden ver, se los envié ahí en WhatsApp, pero ahorita mismo se lo voy a mandar acá el link en el cual van a poder realizar la encuesta. Un segundo. Y este... Lo pueden empezar a hacer. Todo... Eh, Debe de hacer de acuerdo a lo que aparece en la información que está en el correo, chicos, ¿ok? No puede ser otra información, tiene que ser esa, porque a veces, por ejemplo, no tienen una tilde o le falta o cualquier cosa, debe de ser así. ¿Por qué? Porque así aparecen registrados en Insafor, ¿ok? Entonces, por favor, tienen que ir a ese correo que se les envió y por favor ir copiando, así como explica la, la chica en el video. So let's do it. Vamos a hacerlo. Y si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, pues me avisan. Igual, la información principal. Ah, recuerden que no termina ahora el curso, sino que el día de mañana, pero tienen que hacer la encuesta ahora. Así que vamos a hacerla. Es obligación, por favor, para todos hacerla ahora. Mister, nombre completo, Juan José. Ah, recuerden que las preguntas 14 y la número, ay, no me acuerdo cuál es la 15, me parece, es acerca del desempeño de la clase. El resto es de lo de la, ¿ok? Nombre completo, porque si solo ponen, este, no lo toman válido. Please, please, por favor, se los pido, que así sea. Thank you, mister. Wow, you're fast. Son rápidos, ya lo vi. Thank you, mi Rebeca. Thank you, Mr. Jorge. Thank you, Miss Lady.
Thank you, Miss Andrea. Thank you, Miss Lady. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Maurice. Eh, Inglés Corporativo Regal International SADCB. Yes, Mr. Okay. Okay, thank you. No problem. Teacher. Yeah. What we're going to type in the number 10? In the number 10, give me one sec. Nombre del curso. Add send that on the chat box, in the chat of uh, WhatsApp, mister. It's, um, sería, wait a second. In, ajá, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Ahí sería, no, sería inglés principiante módulo 4. Ajá, ese. Uh -huh. yeah. Excelente, teacher, gracias. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Tengo nueve personas al momento. Somos dieciocho, ok. Thank you, Mr. Francisco. Ten. Ocho. Nueve. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Thank you, Miss Kenya. Thank you, Mrs. Stephanie Michelle. Miss Esmeralda, Miss Kenya, ya. Miss Kenya do PS me lo envió, Miss Kenya. ¿Qué pasó? Oh, ok, mis. I'm going to give you uh, six more minutes, ok, you guys. Seis minutos más, so you can do it this. Teacher, en la fecha que inició el curso. Uh -huh. Es el 17 de octubre del 2022. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss Abigail. 
Abby. Abigail. Ay, se me fue otro emoji, miss. I'm sorry. Fíjense. Tell me. Fíjense de la, en, el nombre de la empresa mío estaba mal escrito. Y yo lo puse correctamente porque equipo no es de equipo y no, eh, poi, 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 pues no, ¿cómo es? No está bien escrito equipos. Déjeme verlo, mis, permítame. Pues aquí, equipos. Ya lo vi. Ajá, yo le puse equipos. Vaya, mis, no sé si vamos a tener problemas ahí. No hay problema, mis. Yo digo que no hay problema. Pero mañana lo consultaré yo. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Thank you. No sé quién. Ah, Miss Dania, por favor, nombre completo. Three more minutes para que lo, los que no lo han enviado. Three more minutes. Creo que me falta, quiero ver. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, mister. Le llegó mi información. Yes. Okay. Okay. No la veo, mister, pero sí, sí veo su captura. Así es que yo no la puedo yeah. ver, solo la ve en Safor. Las ah. que yo sé. Ajá, mister. ¿La puedo volver a mandar? No. ¿La puedo no. no, la verdad que si la vuelve a mandar, creo que, creo que no la toman en cuenta. Es que es bien complicado, güey. Va. Y eso, don't send it, don't send it. Esperemos que le llegue. Sí, sí llega, mister. Si, le, si le dio en el, en el botón verde, llega. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So me falta, quiero ver, ¿qué me falta? Ah, que creo que no sé, no está, acá me falta mis, la otra Miss Abigail. Y Miss Tilcia ya me la mandó. No, creo que no vea. No. Me falta Miss Tilcia. Mis, mi, la otra mis amiga ahí.
Ya la envié, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Okay. Pero es que sí, me falta alguien, pero I don't know who. Miss Andrea, you send it. Creo que ella me falta. Or you send it. No, Miss Andrea. Miss, aunque no es. Ah, sí, ya lo mandó. So la otra, Miss Abigail. ¿Quién me falta? Magnus. Wait. I guess you're everybody here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, everybody's right now. Pero me faltan tres personas. Thank you. Sí, sí, Miss, lo acabo de ver. No sé quién me falta. Miss Abigail Mejía. Ah, uh, okay, sí. Okay, we're good. Thank you, everybody, for doing the encuesta. Okay, it's very important to me. Okay, es muy importante para mí porque así me evalúan en in support. Okay. Um, okay, so thank you. Let's go ahead and move on. Vamos a continuar. So uh, please, everybody, put attention to the following presentation. Okay, in the following presentation. So we are going to continue with the uh, unit number four, that is accounting. And we are going to go to the manual in page. 42 okay so everybody please go to page 42 and in the manual you will see something like this okay and it's uh similar to um wait to um a balance sheet but it says well yeah okay so as you can see here we have a balance sheet and in here we can say we can see sorry a uh, consolidate balance sheet of the day January 31st, 2017. And as you can see, we have the current assets, the current liabilities, the current stock, well, stockholder equity, and the total right of the stockholder equity. So basically, we have some numbers. I am not going to ask you to read those kind of numbers because it's a little bit, uh, they are a little bit difficult, right? As you can see, it's like millions and thousands and everything. But as you can see, this balance sheet, it has a number from the, the like the, um, the quantities, okay? From January 31st, 2016 until January 31st, 2017, right? And they have how much they have earned for the money, how much they have paid for things and how much they have like um, in like in reserve or in like um, they are saving, okay? So this is a little bit of how that's uh, how it looks like the balance sheet. Remember that you can have balance sheet for days, you can have balance sheets for weeks and for months, okay? And for years, right? As you can see here. Now, according to these, okay, how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Oh my goodness, how much is mm -hmm. it? We have to use the calculator because <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. how to. How much is the assets plus the oh, 17? Oh, so we have to do this one. Can you do it, please, in a Maybe. calculator? No, but first we have to do this one. Pero primero tenemos que hacer esta. The total assets for one. It would be one million six thousand eleven hundred thousand like dollars, and then we have six million four thousand eight hundred huh? eight hundred dollars. So plus those two, how much is the total? Can you do it, please, in a calculator so we can write it down in the total assets? Six million. Six million. Six million, give me one second. Six million, are you, are you sure? I think it's seven million. Uh -huh. uh, um, because it's one. Uh -huh, me, sí. uh -huh, eight, so, eight million. Give me one second, I'm gonna do it now. Wait. 
and then we have six zeros. Two, three. Eight million. I know, me pasé de six. <laughs> 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 yes, because I wrote too many. Wait. So one. Oh no, again. Six, one, one. Zero, zero, zero. No me deja. Okay, so it would be eight millions and then? 91,000. 91,000? Yeah, no. So, no. So, it's 9,000. 8 million. 0. 0. 0. 91. One more time. Can you repeat it? 8 million. Uh-huh. 8 million. 0. 91. Oh, so it will be 91 million. 0, 0, 0. million. Uh huh. Thank you, mister. So, no, it will be 8 million 91,000. Okay. Just that. You don't have to say more. So it's easy, right? Whee, what did I do? It's not more than that. Okay. Now, what about this one, the liabilities? Can you please do it in a calculator? Four million, four thousand eighty-three hundred plus nine million, eight thousand fifty-six hundred. How much is it? What's the total for that? And so, how much is it? 40. 40. Uh -huh. 40, 40 million. 40 million. Mm -hmm. 3,039 million. Mm -hmm. And then million, right? Millions, yeah. Ooh, six zeros. Okay, there you have it. Okay, and now, now that we have a, oh, we have one more. Okay, the last one. So it will be? No, teacher, it's 14. 14? No, 40. Oh. That's it, 14, 14. 14. Ah, okay, give me one second. Let me think if I can, okay, there, 14. Okay, and what about this one? The last one for the equity. Three million. Sorry? Three, Three million. million. Uh huh. Four thousand fifty one million. Four thousand fifty one. Like that? Million. So that. Yes. Okay, so let's see here. So how much is the total assets and the assets and liabilities in 2017? So what do you have to do? You have to uh, do uh, again, the adding 8, <laughs> 8 million 91,000 plus 14 million 3,300. 3, okay, so you have to make uh, this one. Wait. I cannot. Okay, this one plus this one. Can you do it, please? And how much is it? Twenty-two million mm -hmm. four hundred mm -hmm. thirty million. Thirty million. So like this. Like this? Yes. Okay, thank you. And if we add 867,000, I mean, million, 
167 million and 2 million and 5,084 million. The result is, how much is it? <laughs> if we do this, this suma, this adding, Same. <clears throat> how much is it? 3 million. 3 million, uh huh. 4,051 million. So only like this? Yes. Okay. This is total stockholders equity. Equity. It's true. Very good. It's a total uh, stockholder equity uh, according to this, right? So, yeah, so it's a little bit difficult for contadores. Oh my goodness, I admire contadores <laughs> now because I cannot do it. Imagine them. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have a big job to do. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of number you already knew. I think you have seen a, a, a balance sheet, right? Creo que todos hemos visto en nuestra vida a balance sheet, something similar to this, right? So they are very known and in here in El Salvador, they use it a lot. Now, questions so far or no questions? Because now I think we are going to continue with the... Oh no, this one we already did it. Um, so this what is the balance sheet form formula. If you have the assets and the liability, well, no, shareholders and equity plus the liability, it, you have the the assets according to this, right? What that's what you do. And if you do the formula, right? And then, oh, we already did the financial statement. I remember that we have to do the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow, and you have the equity, right? That is the, the el, like the results of everything. Now, we are going to continue with the zero, zero conditional, okay? Zero conditional, it's very important uh, because we use it to talk about things that are true and there are real in life and we you when you are talking about real and facts about life okay so we are going to listen to explanation you have to give an example after and then you have to do your best as always okay so let's listen at the explanation so zero conditionals so basically zero conditionals are used as you can see here to talk about facts okay and general truth okay and or things that are always true okay like scientific facts okay because those are things that we can prove right so el cero condicional o eh, las oraciones se utilizan para hablar de cosas que son verdaderas o cosas científicas porque obviamente las podemos probar ¿verdad? o uh, también de cosas que son siempre una verdad. And here we have the first example of a zero conditional. Can you help me to read this one, please? Uh, Mr. Jorge Antonio, the first sentence that we have over there. If you hit ice, it melts. Okay, very good. Thank you, mister. Okay, as you can see here, we have things that we have have now identified like if then you here you can see a simple present sentence right podemos ver una oración en simple present and then also here we have a simple present sentence and as you can see obviously if you hit ice it will melt melt right si calienta pues un cubito de hielo obviamente que se va a derretir y es algo científicamente y ustedes obviamente lo ven verdad <laughs> it would happen exactly so thank you mister let's go and how to form the zero conditional sentence and here we have that the zero conditional it's made of a if clause and a main clause okay what this means, it, it means that both of the sentences have verbs, okay? ¿Qué significa esto cuando dice the if clause and main clause? Esa palabra clause, means que es eso? Oraciones, okay? When you see this word, is oraciones, sentences, okay? 
So what happens? Look over here, we have if, and then we have a sentence, as I told you before, and then you have mm -hmm. a comma, very important comma, and then we have another class or sentence, okay? So this, all the conditionals, okay, from now and on, because you are going to study other conditionals. So all the conditionals, they have this word, okay, if, okay, why? Because if significa si, si tú pones a calentar, el hielo o el, ya, yeah, el hielo se der, derretirá, así es, Derre, sí, mm -hmm. derretirá, ajá, uh -huh, ok, so, because we are talking in present, obviously, right, porque estamos hablando en presente, so, that's how you do it, ok, así es como se hace. Now, these zero conditionals and all the conditionals, you can do it in two ways, las puedes hacer en dos formas, ok, for example, that's the first one. If you hit ice, it melts. Or you can say it like this. Um, the ice, or maybe you hit ice. You hit ice. I'm sorry, it would be, it melts, sorry, because the sentence changes. Okay, la oración cambia un poco. It melts if you hit, hit ice. ice. Ajá, cambia de posición, si se puede, ahí es como pueden notar. What happens, uy, no se mira ahí. What happens is that first you have the sentence it melts and then in the middle, instead of the comma, you're going to have if. Teacher. Yeah. And then you what have, about the comma? Because in this case, that's what I was saying. Because in this case, you, don't, you have the if in the middle. So you don't have to use it in this case. No la tienes que utilizar porque tienes el okay. if. Solo cuando Maybe. va el inicio, tienes que utilizar la coma en medio. Cuando va el inicio, el if. Okay, thank you. No problem. We are going to see some sentences, don't worry. So you can have more ideas para que puedan tener, para que puedan tener más ideas. So another thing, when you have con zero conditionals, we can use when instead of if, okay? Que significa cuando, obviously, right? And so, um, uh, for example, here, give me one second. Wait, doesn't want to do it. Okay. So for example, instead of using if at the beginning, in vez de utilizar el if al inicio, look, we have when, cuando tú, okay? Cuando tú pones a calentar el hielo, se derrite. So remember that you can use either when or if. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de los dos para iniciar una pregunta. I mean, una oración con el zero conditional. Now, Here, I am going to show you some sentences, okay? So we can read them and practice a little bit of speaking. Help me to read this one, Miss Sandra. Now, then this one, please, Miss Sandra, read it, please. The sentence, the sentence, Miss, help me to read. No, para leer mis, para leer mis. I need you to help me to read. Ay, no me no escucho. La, no, no la veo, teacher. No, no veo la oración. Really? No, no me sale en la pantalla. Si lo sube un poquito, sí. Really? Ajá, solo veo la imagen de la olla. ¿Está en el teléfono mío? ¿Está en, en la Estoy computadora? Ya. Vaya, ahora sí. Ok. If... No, se me volvió a mover, teacher. Really? Sí. Vaya, ahora sí. Ajá, ok. No, teacher. What? Ahora, ahora sí. Ahí, ahí no la muevo. Vaya. No estoy tocando nada. Ok. If you hit where to 100 degrees, Ajá. it boys. Exactly, ok, this is a fact, right? Esto es como pueden ver, es algo verdadero, si calientas el agua a 100 grados, va a hervir, ok, so, and as you can see, y miren, super fácil, what do you do? So, first of all, 
you have the word if, right? And then you have a simple present sentence. Then you write a comma and then you write another simple present sentence, okay? Let's go ahead and continue. Help me to read this one, please, Miss Rebecca. <laughs> if I am late for class, my teacher gets angry. Excellent, thank you. Okay, again, look, if, and then the sentence, verb to be, remember a simple present, right? Next one, help me please, uh, Mr. Juan Jose. If it rains and I don't have an umbrella, I get wet. Yes, very good, thank you. Let's see, next one, Miss Michelle. It's if people eat too much, they get fat. Exactly, right? These are the facts. Thank you. Let's go next one. Miss Lady. If I study too much, I get really tired. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, okay. So remember, what do you have to do? Wait a second. Let's do some sentences now. Vamos a hacer unas... Una práctica ahorita. Just give me one second so we can, I can open my, my whiteboard because I don't have it open. Give me one sec. So when do we use uh, the zero conditional? One more time, you guys, everybody. When do we use it? To talk about what? Para hablar sobre qué? Facts. 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 Really true. Things that are true. Very good. And yes. what words do you use when you are studying? Like start to Science. write or say? I'm sorry? Scientific. Uh, but what's the word that you use to start writing? What's the word or to say it? If. Ah, very good. If or? If when we, or when exactly to start writing the sentence right and then what do you you use after if or when what type of tense Project? past mm. no present present exactly okay so for example if you study if you study que sucede si ustedes estudian mucho if you study a lot what happens? ¿Qué sucede? Algo verdadero. Hmm. I will learn. learn a lot. I learned a lot. Exactly, right? I get good notes. Exactly. Great. Very good. Look, if I study a lot, simple present sentence, positive, coma, right? I learned a lot. Okay. Simple present again. Remember, okay? What about if I... Wait a second. If I go to the gym, to the gym, what happens if we go to the gym? ¿Qué, qué sucede si vamos al gimnasio? Hmm. Hmm. What happens if you go to the gym? I got... Uh -huh. I, get I don't get very muscle. muscle. <laughs> you get muscles, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get muscles, right? Or you get thin or, or, or maybe you get, uh, uh, what else? Tired or the cansas, right? Depends, right? So meeting if, and then I use simple present and coma and I got muscles. Let's go next one. Vamos a utilizar ahora when, because remember that it's very important to learn both ways. When I, hmm. When I do the homework, what happens if you do the homework, everybody? Coma. Mm -hmm. I, I get I pass red. The grade. I get good grades. I think you said, right? The get teacher good. gets happy. 
Uh, yay! Yes, it's true. I get happy too. No, but <laughs> another thing is that you get good grades, right? If you do the homework, obviously. So when, and then you have simple present sentence, then you have, oh, the comma, very important. And then you have another simple present sentence, okay? Let's do a little bit of practice. Vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica. Just give me one second. I just want to check on something. Because I'm going to share, share with you, I think the negative, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay, so let's see. Here we have the first one. Uh, this one, help me please, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. What's the correct answer for this one? Read the sentence, please. If it if people eat lots of candy, mm -hmm. uh, what happens? They gain weight, they gained weight, or they are yes. gaining weight? Let me read it. Okay, no problem. Um, the first one. Okay. Gain weight. Yes, mister, very good. They gain weight, they ganan peso, right? What about this one, number two, Mr. Mauricio, help me. If I wake up late. Mm -hmm. What happens if you wake up late? I... I'm late for work. Larry C. Larry C. Yes, very good, Mister. Thank you. Let's go with Miss Abigail Bonilla. Help me here. When it's cold, mm -hmm. I always mm, wear a jacket. Yes, very good, okay. Miss. Thank you. Okay, let's go this one. Help me, please, Mr. Jorge Antonio. <clears throat> if I don't have much money. Mm -hmm. I don't eat out. Yes, excellent, Mr. Very good. This one is the, the what I am going to teach you after, okay? The negative, don't and doesn't, remember, okay? This one, Mr. Francisco. When you put the water in the freezer. Mm -hmm. It what? will be frozen. It will be frozen. Uh, no, the first one. That first one? No, no. I tell me you. I just checking. Yes, the first one. It will be frozen. No, because remember, it's simple present, so it will be when you put water in the freezer, it freezes. Okay, se congela. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one. In the negative, as I told you before, you are going to use for negative. Don't and doesn't write. Just give me one second so I can show you. Okay, for example, if I have, if you don't, if you don't hmm, eat vegetables, what happens if you don't eat vegetables? Get flat. Ah? Uh, Get flat. You, but if you don't eat vegetables. No, oh, al revés. Ajá, uh -huh. if you don't eat vegetables y no comes eh, vegetales, ¿qué sucede? Que si no comes vegetales, what happens? Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't get all the nutrients, right? All the 
nutrients. No, no, no tienes todos los nutrientes que necesitas. Maybe, right? Or what about if you, or if they don't, if they don't, what can we say? Travel, coma. What happens if you don't travel? Uh -huh. Something to complete? It's poor. <laughs> I am poor, okay, I am poor. Okay, I'm not, they are poor, it will be because they, they are poor. <laughs> that is something that I was going to tell you. You can use uh, the verb to be, puedes utilizar también el verbo to be, for example, when, vamos a utilizar um, el nom un nombre, let's use Michelle, if, when Michelle, when Michelle isn't, isn't or is not in the class, what happens? ¿Qué sucede si Michelle no está en la clase? Vamos a ver. How can we complete it? She? She go to the party. Mm -hmm. Goes to the party. What? Ay, Michelle, now we know your secret. Okay, so if Mich when Michelle is not in the class, she goes to the party. She goes to the party. Mm -hmm. Porque utilizo goes, remember that is third, uh, third person, right? And also here it uh, will be is because I'm talking about she, right? So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Questions so far about this? Any doubts? Teacher. Yes, mister? Lo podemos usar en pasado. Mm, uh, yes, you can use it, but not with this one, Mister. Sí puedes utilizarlo en pasado, pero es de diferente tipo de, condicio de conditional. Ese sería el segundo y el tercero que van a utilizar con pasado. Ahorita solo es cosas okay. verdaderas en presente. Ok, solo así. Ok. Mm -hmm. But later you will learn the other ones. Pero más adelante van a aprender los otros conditionals and you will learn the use and how to create and van a aprender también el uso y cómo utilizarlos así como estamos aprendiendo zero conditional. Let's do a practice. Vamos a hacer otra práctica. I don't know if there is another question so far or no. Help me with this one, please, Miss Dilcia. What's the answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta aquí? Okay, what about Mr. Um, or oh, Miss Michelle, please? It's you. Mm -hmm. Eat too much. You get fat. You get fat. Hi, you get fat. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go next one. Help me, please, Miss Abigail. Okay, oh, what happened, Miss? If you. Uh huh. Ah, yes, that's the one. Hat. Or hit. No, sir. Hit. The... hit. Uh -huh. If you hit water, what the meaning? Hit. Hit. Calentar, Miss. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you hit water to one hundred. Person, person, uh -huh. Uh -huh. percent, percent, uh -huh. percent. It, it boils. Yes, very good, Miss. Boils. Remember that in this case, yes. it boils yes. uh -huh. with S because we're talking about third person, right? Let's go to the next one. Help me, please, uh, Miss Lady. If children doesn't always doesn't or don't don't okay don't, don't always don't, don't obey obey their parents uh -huh. they be hmm. they cuál es el verbo to be para daily uh -huh. 
Yes. Exactly. They are. Okay. Usually punished. They are usually punished. Okay. Castigados. Okay. Punished. What about this one? Help me, please. Miss Sandra. Solo que no veo la parte de arriba. Really? <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? Mi? No sé, teacher. But me Vaya, sabe. ahora sí, ahora sí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Se los juro. If you have a mm -hmm. head, headache. Ajá, uh -huh, headache. You usually take an aspirin. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's see, Miss. Uh, uh, no, it's Miss Rebecca. Please. If you sit in the sun too long, you get sunburn. Yes, very good. Thank you. Mr. Mauricio, help me here, please. If you, if you don't sleep mm -hmm. enough. enough you feel tired. You feel tired. Feel, feel uh -huh. Very good. Let's go next one. Um, Mr. Juan Jose. If you want to success in life, mm -hmm. you have to work hard. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Mr. Francisco here. If you press that switch, mm -hmm. the life come on. I know, I give you the answer. <laughs> Comes on, yes, thank you. Let's see, well, Mr. Okay. <laughs> Jorge Antonio, please, Mr. Mr. Jorge, are you there? Okay, no, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, teacher. Okay, here. What would be the answer? Um, if you do a lot of gym, mm -hmm. you stay fit. Yes, stay very fit. good. Stay fit. Let's go next one. Volunteers to help me with this one, please. When you fly, uh -huh. but get airline, Budget. you have to pay for your drinks and snack. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's go this one. Uh, it would be another volunteer, please. Well, would don't work if there mm -hmm. there are no air exactly if there is no air so this one exactly. remember would <laughs> uh -huh. don't worry es que es que acá would como es un objeto entonces tendría que ser doesn't right uh -huh. because it's third person right it awesome. would yeah. doesn't burn if there is no air lo mismo para el there era el is porque estábamos hablando de pues del objeto would right no. uh -huh. and okay so let's go ahead and we are going to go to first to the manual okay I don't know if you have questions right now let me know it's the time for questions or no questions we clear because here we have some more I'm sorry Help me to read those, please. And Miss, Miss Lady, please. This one's. If. If. 
What perdón. What do we do if we have very low assets? Assets. Mm -hmm. Assets. Mm -hmm. If we have lost assets, we have to even appraise it or we have to even appraise if First. we have lost assets. Very good. When? Help me, please. Uh, Mr. Francisco, when? family both if they need a lot when my family needs a lot they go to the bank my family goes to the bank when they need a lot thank you mr very good okay as i told you before you can use uh when in between right at the beginning or in between the sentences or the classes as i told you before <laughs> Um, so here we have a practice exercise number five. What do you have to do? You have to complete with the correct word. So please, I want I want you please write it write them down. It will be in your notebook or in the manual if you have it. So for this activity, I'm gonna give you five no four minutes. Okay, so you can write it down. Okay, so let's try to do it in your notebook or your manual, please. Let's try to do it. My son, my son. Ready?
Okay, let's go ahead and try with number one. What's the answer for number one? What do you have? If I wake, wake up late, uh -huh, wake up I late. Late for work. Uh huh. I am late for work. Number two, my son burns the food if he mm -hmm. cooks alone. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mister. Thank you. Number three, everybody. If employees. Don't eat well. Um, uh -huh. Don't, don't eat. eat well. Uh -huh. They aren't healthy. Uh -huh. Aren't healthy. Very good. Number four. Yeah. When yeah. she pays she pays pays her bills her on bills. time. She? she doesn't have to pay extra. Exactly. Thank you. Number five. If the incomes are are good. Are good. An employee receives receives a bonus. Number six. We sell. We sell. Oh, I'm sorry. We sell more products when we know the customer's needs. Mm -hmm. When we know the customer's needs. Okay, so those are the answers. Do you have them like that? No. No? <clears throat> no, no, no. That's okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, you don't have it like that. Or, but my question is, it was difficult to you to create them or it was easy for you? Mm -hmm. So are we good with this one? Are we good or we need more examples or we have understood? Okay, and right now, before we do the practice, I am going to do attendance section so we can do the act the the practice later okay so please say presente abigail mejia present thank you andrea malia dania lisbeth dilce jamilet present teacher thank you present teacher thank you esmeralda del carmen present teacher thank you francisco ernesto Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Thank you, Miss. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Vigail. Present. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? I want you to write three sentences about some facts about you. Okay. Like I am going to write my facts just as an, an, as an example. Okay. Just give me one second. So I can show my sentences for facts about my life, okay? So, for example, if I don't study, I'm sorry, if I don't study, I get bored, okay? Because if I don't study, I get bored. So I have to be in constantly doing a lot of things always. I don't know why. And then another one, when I travel, maybe, okay, I love or I like, or I go away, I, I visit my family, my family, okay? Another answer could be, mm hmm, 
another center for my true fact. True facts, it could be if I watch TV, I watch series, okay? I always watch a series, okay? For me, those are my facts about my life. Now, I want you please to do um, three sentences about your life or your family can be also, okay? And when you finish, I want you to send them in uh, the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's try to do them. I'm gonna give you for this activity only five minutes, okay? Five minutes because we have one more activity to do before we finish. So remember three activities, three facts about your life because I know everybody has different lives, uh, like things that you do. Thank you, Miss Abby. Teacher. Yes, Miss. What is the verb when it's bañar, but a un animal? Bathe. Ahora se le manda el chat. Can you cry? Eh, yes, I did. Okay. Base. Ahí se lo mandé ahorita. Es este. Base. Uy. Base. Bañar a un animal es base. Three more minutes about oh, your life. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio, very good. Are you allergic to peanuts, to money? 
Mr. Mauricio, I cannot hear you. I have uh, allergia. Allergic. Are you allergic? Allergy. I oh. allergic. That's sad, mister. They are meows. What? <laughs> Miss Abigail, they are meows. I pay, when I pay my- Maullar. Ah, so it's meow with W. Meow, wait, but I forgot how to read <laughs> meow. Meow, 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 wait. They meow. Just, es que meow es un verbo, mis. <laughs> Suena raro. <laughs> yeah, it's a verb. Es maullar. So... They meow. Entonces, uh -huh. They meow. Elimine. <laughs> yes, I want to buy some. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Miss Abigail, for sharing. Nice, Mr. Jorge, thank you for sharing. What about the other ones? Thank you, Mr. Juan Jose. When I run, when I run. Very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Thank you for sharing. Two more minutes, you guys. Mr. Francisco, Miss Michelle, Miss Rebecca, Mr. Ezekiel, I'm waiting. Great teacher. Okay.
Thank you, Miss Michelle. Thank you, Miss Sandra. If I am late, my parents worry. Okay, Miss Sandra. If I practice English at five, six, I'm gonna. Ah, grows. The plant grows because remember, it's a thing. And those waste. Okay. I think everybody sent them. It does good for this. I do good for this. No, sería it does. It does good for the scheme. If I want love to have money for one. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Francisco. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Rebecca. Thank you. Very good. If you don't, we're going to holiday. I miss Jamilet, if you don't do the homework. Very good. Thank you. Excellent uh job everybody okay so uh let's go ahead and continue now just to finish because we only have nine minutes oh my goodness so fast okay so we have a review time what are we going to do i'm going to put you in pairs and you will have to answer these um these worksheets as you can see and what do you have to do in the first section you have to match the sentences in the second section you will have to use these phrases over here to complete the sentences down there okay so i will put you in groups of three maybe and you have to help each other to finish the the worksheet okay and when you finish the worksheet you have to send me the score one of you has to send me the score to, that you have created okay just give me one second i will be groups of some of four some of three okay so you can do it faster because it's little time i'm going to give you exactly five minutes so you can remember one of you have to open the worksheet uno de ustedes va a tener que abrir la worksheet okay para que puedan trabajarla Después este, la contestan entre todos y al finalizar me envían el score. Uno de ustedes, quien la esté trabajando, me envía el score de cuánto obtuvieron. Ok. And uh, yes, questions or no questions so far? Practice. Ok, let's go and practice. Ok. And do your best. Accept the invitation right now. Miss Anna, can you accept the invitation, please? Barca. Teacher, no podemos entrar, pide como algo. Really? Sí, pide una identificación. Wait, quiero ver. No, Hmm, lo mismo me está pidiendo Mr. Ezequiel. Ok, uh, en la parte de abajo, pero lo raro es que yo no estoy, no, acce, no accedí a nada. Oh, ok, give me one second. I think it's this one. Déjenme ver si es este. Sí, miren ahora ese que les acabo de enviar. Si lo pueden abrir. Creo que ese sí. Es de la... 
Yes, sí, yes, 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 new link, sí, les acabo de mandar un nuevo link porque ese último les pide autorización, bien raro porque a mí no me pide cuando entro, pero ok, uh, les acabo de mirar en el último link, ese sí, sí funciona, les voy a volver a mandar el, el link. El pequeñito es live work. Es ajá, es ese, ajá, use this one, voy a poner. Ok, y en ese vamos a... Eh, you have to put it, ok. Tienes que activarlo. Bueno, dale clic y después eh, van a, uno de ustedes va a compartir la pantalla para que empiecen a trabajar. Compartir la pantalla para comenzar a trabajar. Ya. Yeah. Bueno. Ok, try to do it. ¿Qué piensan? Si es la letra C. Yes. Okay. The second, if the people eat too much. If baby are hungry. The grass get wet. The grass, mm. the grass get wet. When it, it rains, a drink. I guess a drink. Cake or drink. Uh huh. If you. Drink enough water. Uh huh. <clears throat> you. Me mean que el que está la par. Drink sleep. Sleep este. Get. You get. No sleep como está drink, pero y a la par la pleca sleep. Así lo entiendo. Tiene que ser el junto, teacher. Ok. Like that. Ajá, como le está diciendo. If you drink enough water, you eh, sleep. Mm, I don't think it's that one. Yo decía en take. It will be. If you don't drink enough water, you get dehydrated because dehydrated es deshidratarte. Oh, so, ajá. Entonces, sí. debajo. Ah, exactly. Very good. No drink. You no drink. Enough water. You get. Get. Deshidratado. De. My teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher again. Angry if I. Vamos a ver, dijo el Diego. Ayúdeme, Lady, porque ahorita. Grandai. Teacher, las do, la dos partes, vamos a contestar. Uh, yes, please. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. Thank you. Plants, cuando la planta muere, die. Die. Uh -huh. La siguiente. ¿Cuál es? If you don't drink, I think, or if you drink enough water. Porque creo que su última palabra, dehydrator, creo que es el deshidratado, creo. Yes, no uh, drink. Entonces tendría, if you don't enough, don't. don't drink enough water, you get, you get, mm -hmm. 
the next my <clears throat> my teacher if you not you don't green si no tomas agua tu te deshidratas uh -huh, uh -huh. Just get, not get drink. You not you don't drink. Drink get you get dehydrate. My teacher. My teacher. It's very good. <laughs> Get hungry if I not study. And the time we have, we don't study. I. Is I uh, I don't study. If I goes to bed, he can sleep. Sleep. Si no fuera por usted, ¿qué sería sí. yo en este no. sagrado momento? Ahí creo que es Ray. Teacher, nos trabajamos en la number three. Ok, if I don't know a word in English, I look it up on, in my dictionary. Eso es lo que nos está matando porque en lugar de don't, dice not. Yeah, because re but remember that in negative it would be don't for the simple present, mister. It just say not there, but you have to write it don't or doesn't, right? Depending. In the same in number one, mister, if you don't sí. drink. drink. ¿Verdad que es lo que le estaba diciendo, señorita Lady? Así es. Bye. <laughs> Tengo testigos aquí, teacher. Look. En la 3 le puso T y E W. Ay, Dios mío. <risa> almost es. done, Mr. You are almost finished. Don't worry. <risa> Qué apurado, don't be in a hurry. You have time. <risa> <risa> Solo la acabo, la espero. That's it. <risa> es que viera que agarra Eric. I am sorry, Mr. Me too, but we can do this, Mr. Almost, almost. I know. <risa> uh, if you. Basic. Basic. You. Yeah. If look. Uh, it. 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 A lot of sweet. You get. Get. Mm -hmm. If you. Everything. Take. take if you medicine. take medicine when you're sick, okay. you feel better. Feel. Yeah. Pero, pero, veamos Mal. nuestro día entonces. No. Ah. Ay, ya que nos faltó la no. este. Yeah. Bueno. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a nine. That's a good, good, great. You're good. It's only some of them. But that's perfect. Send me this screenshot piece in the in the group, please, so I can have an uh, like an idea that you're working on that. Please, let's work and let's do it. Okay, so you're finished, right? But the rest, no. <laughs> okay, just, uh, I do have it. Okay, thank you, Miss Rebecca. You're done, teacher. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're done, yeah. Uh, if you want, you can go. Thank you, you did an amazing job. Thank you for doing the practice, okay? So you can go, don't worry, have a good night. I'm gonna wait for the rest, lo voy a esperar al resto, but you can go as you like, okay? Thank you, teacher. No problem, because you did an awesome, awesome job. Thank you, bye, good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye, everybody. Bye, take care. Uh,
Okay, very good. You finish? I did I don't see your picture. You haven't finished? Can you can you check the answers and send me whatever you have and comprobar respuestas? Please, whatever you have, and send me the score that you got, please. And send me your name, write your one of your names, please. And then, okay, if you finish, well, until you have it, okay, send me the score and then you can go. And uh, thank you for coming to today's class. I'll see you tomorrow. Y los veo mañana. Bye-bye. Have a good night. <laughs> Pero voy a esperar sus scores, please, Mr. Juan Jose. I think Mr. Juan Jose is doing it right. No sé quién de todos está haciendo. Yes? Are you? Uh, Michelle, creo que Michelle iba a enviar. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Michelle. I'll be waiting for that. And and oh, Mr. Jose Ezequiel, too. Yo, yo le envío, teacher. Okay, thank you. Have a good okay. night. Thank good you. Bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.